This is a celebration of a five-year completion of a journey. Our ambition is to be India's partner of choice in research and innovation. It's got some of the big problems but a lot of potential to solve those problems, so there's a lot we can learn from India. Five years on from the opening of the office, we're really starting to see real opportunities to do different research and stronger research as a consequence of our partnership. We're here, of course, because we've had an office in India since 2008. It's now the five-year celebration. And it's an opportunity not just to celebrate what we've achieved in those five years, but we're also here to think about the future. Think about what we might do beyond this five years. What sorts of collaborations do we now need? What do we need to build on? And what do we need to think about that's new? We've got delegates here from British universities. Over 75 people have come. And we've got Indian partners heads of Indian ministries. It's a manifestation of just how important our relationship is that they would find the time to join us this morning. And there is a huge amount to celebrate. Food, water, energy, biology, healthcare, urban science, which is growing, advanced manufacturing, and things like energy storage and climate change. And of course there are many others. In total we've got about now with the new projects that are about to start about 80 projects. There are about 90 companies involved from industry and business and the total value at the moment and it's constantly rising is 150 million pounds and that's the contribution equally from the UK and India. It's a great opportunity for us to take UK strengths and Indian strengths between the two of us and look at some really important global challenges for research. So we're partnering with India on things like nuclear energy. Um, we're actually working together. We've been able to tackle issues that we wouldn't have been able to tackle in the UK without support from the Indian infrastructure. India has very similar reactor technology to us. Some of the same issues with decommissioning and how they actually move towards the next generation of nuclear. We're in a similar situation, so actually getting our leading researchers to work with India was, was quite vital to us. If we have a certain skill, UK has a certain facility. If UK has a certain skill, India has a facility. So it's this complementary skill and facility set that's made this collaboration attractive to us. We're partnering with India on digital economy, which is all about how you use ICT, but in the context of people's local circumstances. Wireless, cloud computing and applications and services for health, landslide detection and a whole raft of other environmental issues. We have a, a set of disaster management softwares and disaster cloud backends which we use for a whole lot of agricultural products. So that's wonderful for India. Some of the research councils are taking quite a challenge-based focus to the work they're doing out here. So thinking about topics that really do require international collaboration to try and solve some of the really big, difficult problems of the day. One of the global projects which we're leading on is on the appropriate use of nitrogen in agricultural systems, with as a fertiliser, but also research so that crops can fix their own nitrogen, reducing the need for fertilisers in agricultural production, saving money and aiding world food production and therefore leading to food security in the planet. From the social sciences, India has you know, it's an important country to do research on and in you know, big issues like poverty alleviation, for example, that's really, really important. We've started doing some PhD exchanges with India, so really important to build the international links at the early career stage. We're transitioning our relationship from giving of financial aid to much more of a technical partnership of equals. And we expect that partnership to be very much about research and evidence onto approaches and interventions for tackling poverty. This is an opportunity to build the capacity of other countries and also to strengthen the whole range of research that India is doing around issues like food security, women and health. We have been working with RC UK and especially with uh, NERC for uh, about almost five years now. We started with uh, changing water cycle. We are also going ahead uh, for doing um, a joint uh, project on the monsoon. Weather and climate knows no boundaries. All these aspects are global challenges which we all can face together.
there's always a smile on people's faces here and, and they have so many problems that they have to solve and there's just a desire to, to engage at every level I think and we've got a lot to learn from them as well as us um, having a lot to offer them I think. We're seeing fruits of the collaboration already, certainly in scientific publications. Eventually, of course, we're interested in prosperity. We're interested in turning those scientific ideas into research accomplishments that can become part of the infrastructures in both countries and then also to sell to other countries as well, together as partners. Knowledge is great, but it's not sufficient until it's applied for the benefits of our populations, for their health, their well-being, their resilience, and also for our economies. The UK, I think, makes for an excellent partner for India in both research and turning that research into innovation. When we work together, though, we can be even better than that. We can be world beaters. Uh, if you have a look uh, this evening at some of the research projects that we're showcasing, I hope you'll, you'll see that. As you can imagine, dealing with rural development problems seems to be a very developing country concern. And to us it has come as a big surprise, if you like, uh, that a developed country dealing with rural development problems very exactly similar same issues. <laughs> uh, and yeah. have the same issues and the same problems that we have. I think between uh, India and the UK we can actually help uh, or change the world. That, that's my. That's where I've come to at the end of this project. Absolutely. So, I, I go with that. Yeah. What had happened was that we took for a while each other for granted. Now we're actually discovering the value of engaging much more closely with each other. The next phase is how do you invest that knowledge, create a lot of money into wealth generation again. What I'd like to be thinking about in the next five years is the equivalent of the document we've produced at this event where we've shown the range of, I think it's 80 or 90 collaborations that we've funded over the period. The next five years it'd be good if we could put out a document that demonstrates the impact of that work. Excellence with impact has really got to drive everything we do.